wine lovers and welcome back to Wine Talk. I'm Kristen, your personal sommelier. Today we're going to complete our discussion on cork versus screw cap debate and today's discussion is going to be on cork alternatives. So last week we talked about real cork versus the screw cap and this week we're going to talk about other alternatives. So the first um, type of cork enclosure or alternative enclosure is called a synthetic cork. And this can come two different ways. Like I have one that's more of a, a rubbery kind of feel to it. And then another one which is more of a compressed um, cork with filler in it that binds it together. What's good about these is that these synthetic corks are not prone to cork taint. So you're not going to get have the same problem that you do with natural cork. They don't degrade or dry out like a natural cork can. So you're not going to get that cork inside your bottle when you're trying to open it or the cork is not going to disintegrate when you're, uh, you know, trying to uh, take the cork out of the bottle um, and it's not going to break apart. And it's also less expensive to produce, which ultimately has an impact on the bottom line price that you pay. Another type of enclosure that's come into vogue in the last 10 years or so are these little glass um, seals called Venolock or it's called Vino Seal. And they have like a rubber um, tight band around it so you get a really tight fit on your wine. I have an example here of a, uh, a Venolock sealed wine right here. And it's great. I've never had any trouble with any of the wines that I have opened um, using the Vino Lock. Um, it's said that they have better control over the aging process. So in other words, I've also had a wine, um, there's a winery in uh, the Willamette Valley that I really like that uses this glass enclosure on their uh, reserve Cabernets and some of their ageable wines and I've never had any problem with, with aging with the uh, vino lock enclosure. Um, there's no cork taint because this is made out of glass, so you are not gonna have any problem with it ruining your wine accidentally. And the best part of all is they're reusable. So you can um, put it back in the bottle when you're, when you're done for the day, or uh, if you open another bottle of wine and that cork breaks or you know it's not usable and you want to use something else, you can just keep this and reuse this vino lock. So these are a couple of the alternatives to uh, cork that you may find in your wine. And I don't so far have any issue with any of the cork alternatives um, that we have seen as far as how it impacts the wine in a negative way. So that's all we have for today and I look forward to seeing you next time on Wine Talk. See you then.